This is Professor Pelton. This is trigonometry. This is Professor Pelton. This is trigonometry. This is chapter one, section four of uh, right triangle trigonometry. This is part three of the video. So we need to know angles of elevations and angles of depressions, the vocabulary word, and the uh, items used to measure these things. So first off, your line of sight is also known as the horizontal line. So when you look at things with your eyeballs, they call it a line of sight for a reason, because you need a line because when you go up and down from that, you get the second line, because it takes two lines to make an angle. That's important. So you need that uh, line of sight line to make those proper angles. Okay? And it could also be, it doesn't need to be your eyeballs, it could also be a sextant or a transit, which are the items used to measure, which we'll talk about in a second. So from your eye line up is the angle of elevation, and from your eye line down is the angle of depression. Okay? All right, so... The analog items used to measure these angles are called sextants and transits. They have digital versions nowadays. They look a little bit different, but they're still used. So you need to be able to draw and read read vocab and re draw things, pseudo diagrams, to be able to solve these problems. So I'm on a mountain, so I'm going to draw a mountain. There's my mountain. I'll put some snow on it since it's New England, right? And I'll put myself on top here. Okay, so there is my line of sight going this way, my horizontal line, correct? And there's a plane in the air, so up here is a plane, right? So we'll make a plane, there's a plane, we'll put some wings on it, there we go. Okay, so that is my angle of elevation, which we're going to say is 30 degrees, none of this is the scale, of course. And my angle of depression, going down to a base camp, which I'm not going to draw, is 15 degrees. Again, not to scale, so right triangle, right triangle. Okay, and I am how tall? Six feet. So this is six feet tall. Okay, so that would be the information you need to have in a diagram to properly solve for the right triangles. Okay, let's try some problems. So let's say you want to construct a uh, building, and that building is 300, uh, you're standing 300 feet from a building, and you measure the angle of elevation with a transit. The transit lens is five feet off the ground. The transit determines the elevation is 22 degrees, determine the height of the building. So I have the height going to it, which is 300. I want to know this, so that's for using the, the 22, that'd be tangent, because it is opposite over adjacent. So I'll multiply each side by the 300, so I can move it away from the A. So 300 feet times the tangent of 22 degrees would be my A. But the problem is A is not my answer. I want the height. So my height is 300 feet times the tangent of 22 degrees. And to get my height, I have to add in the person because I'm measuring off the ground a measure of 5 feet. So I have to add on another 5 feet. So that'll give me my approximate answer, which you can go out to two decimal places and make sure you label that answer in feet. So when you plug this into the calculator, make sure it's actually in degree mode since you're plugging in 22 degrees. Okay, so we'll take a look here. So if I plug it in in degree mode, I should get approximately 126.21 feet for this answer. Okay, all right, so pause the video. Try the student problem for yourself. Okay, so a person climbs a pyramid, so we'll draw a pyramid. Okay, and they're standing up there. I'm just going to draw a line for the person. And they look down at a line parallel, right there. Okay, and we'll draw a line of sight and draw it down the best we can. And we find that this is our right angle here, and our angle um, to the ground, the angle depression is 52.6 degrees. Okay, um, and we find with a laser that this distance is 213 okay, feet. Okay, so we'll use our trigonometry to find uh, this right here, which we'll call the height. How's that sound? Okay. Um, how high off the ground is the person? How tall is the per? How high off the ground is the person? How tall is the pyramid? So that would be the same answer, wouldn't it? It'd be this right here. You're at the top of the pyramid, that's um, how tall is the pyramid? That's the same thing. Okay. It's a trick question. Okay, so we we'll use here sine. So the sine of 52.6 degrees equals the, let's see, opposite over hypotenuse, which is 213 feet. 
So multiply each side by 213 times 213. So 213 feet times the sine of 52.6 degrees. About too many degrees there is going to be height of this one I'm looking at. But the, the height of the pyramid is not that because I'm measuring from me, which I said was... Uh, what did I say? Oh, these are meters this time. I'm sorry. I'm 1.5 meters tall. Okay. So this should not be feet. It should be meters. I'm sorry. The last problem was feet. I pay attention to that. So this is meters meters and meters. So the pyramid height, right? So what we actually want, we'll label this as x. How's that sound? Or actually p. How's that? Probably p makes sense. So p equals 213 meters times the sine of 52.6 degrees. And we have to minus say 1.5 meters to get the appropriate measurement because I'm measuring uh, from my height. And we never really, it's, again, your eyeballs and the measurement thing, you kind of ignore your forehead fact. You just assume that your eyeballs are on top of your forehead. Okay, so what is the pyramid or how high I'm off the ground? So 213 times sine of 252.6. So 213 sine of 52.6. So 213 times the sine. Uh, 52.6, it's in degree mode, that's good because we're plugging in degrees, minus 1.5, get the approximate answer, so 167.71 meters off the ground, that's how far I am, also it's the height of the pyramid. Okay, alright, so let's do one for angles now, you can do the same thing. So let's say I have an ang uh, angle of elevation, and I have two sides, and I want to find that angle of elevation, okay. Well, that's a tangent because it's opposite and adjacent. I don't have the hypotenuse. I don't need that, though. So the tangent of the angle is opposite over adjacent. What you notice is meters over meter cancels. You're like, well, wait a minute, what's the measure? Well, remember, you're solving for an angle, so I'll do the inverse tangent to both sides. And what I do to one side of the equation, I must do to the other. So that cancels here because they're inverse functions, is the tangent inverse of 21 over 25. Okay, So this gives you an angle answer. That's why the, the meters cancel. So the answer is actually degrees. It's going to be approximately and approximately either degrees or radians. You probably should give both, and I'll probably ask for both on the assessment. So tan inverse of 21 over 25. Let's get our answers. So tan inverse of 21 divided by 25. So if I look, my calculator is in degree mode, so that is the degree answer, about 40.03 degrees. And if I do it again, we'll copy, control C, control V, and now we'll change this to radian mode, since I'm plugging in a radian, or on a radian output, rather. So the inverses give you the degrees, uh, the tangent functions give you the ratios. So about uh, 0.69 nine um, radians. Okay. All right, so pause the video. Try the student problem for yourself. Okay, so we're casting a shadow. We have an angle of elevation again. So we have the tangent of some angle. And we have 75 feet over 43 feet. So the feet cancel. We'll do inverse tan to both sides. cancel, so the angle is going to be the tangent inverse of 75 over 43. So inverse functions give you the angle, whereas the regular ones give you the ratio, right? So the angle is either approximately, the angle is approximately, going to give you degrees or radians. You don't need to really write rad, but that's fine. So tan of 75 over 43. So tan inverse of 75 divided by 43. So my calculator is in radian mode, so that is the number of radians, so it's a reverse angle. And the other one, we'll do it again. 75 divided by 43, make sure it's in degree mode. Degree mode. 
Oh, did I screw up the ratio? I don't I don't believe I did not. Oh, did I not do inverse tan? I didn't do inverse tan. That's that is why. So clicking the wrong button here. I apologize. 75 divided by 43. I knew something looked wrong. So it's about 60.17 degrees. Or inverse tan of 75 divided by 43. We'll make sure it's in radian modes. You can get negative answers for degrees, but I we knew right away when I did uh, degrees it was the wrong answer. So radians, about 1.05 radians. Okay, that is the end of part three.